Hi guys, it's a gorgeous day in Phoenix, Gilbert actually, in the Phoenix area. We have a blue sky, here are my palm trees. It's actually the first day that feels like fall. Um, it's about 62 degrees, maybe something like that. I'm actually a little cold. I should have something else on because I actually feel cold. Um, anyways, this video is uh, being recorded because some of you have asked me about my basil. And so I'm going to show you. I'm not an expert. I'm not a master gardener. Um, but I like to try some new things. And when they do work, I like to give my secrets away. Joe always says, don't give your secrets away. But you know what? It just feels good to let someone else try it and, you know, and be successful at that too. So I'm going to show you. I'm really bad at um, inches, and um, but I bought this plant at Lowe's that was about 5 inches maybe, something like that. It's been about 30 years that I've been in the U.S. and I still never know how many inches is like this much. But anyways, um, I bought this plant, this basil plant, and I put it in our raised garden that Joe built for me. And I'm going to turn this around so that you can see the mega plant that it has become. This is my famous basil plant. It's huge. It doesn't look like much right now, but let me show you my hand. You see? This is just huge. And yeah, you could get lost in here. Anyways, um, in order for the plant to be successful and grow green, you must make it stop producing the flower at the very top. So for instance, right up here, you can see this little, the little leaves. Uh, hopefully you can see it. So you must pinch this basically on a daily basis. Don't feel bad. It's gonna grow back so fast it's not even funny. It goes super fast. You have to keep up with it. If you don't, it will become into um, a bunch of sticks with the flowers on the top and the seeds. Of course, you can use the seeds for that, but then the plant becomes yellow. And once that happens, the basil just doesn't taste right. So I have my compost pile right here. Joe actually built me this two amazing raised gardens and again I'm not a master gardener so I still cannot give a lot of advice but we're trying new things I used to garden in the East Coast and it seemed a little bit easier except for the basil and um, so I'm just trying new things and see what works and what doesn't but um, here are my marigolds from seat it's amazing those also grew really well. But anyways, going back to the basil, just make sure that you pinch the very top every single day so that you can have a beautiful plant just like this one and enjoy many pestos in the next couple months. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up so I know you really enjoyed it and maybe I'll create more videos for you. Um, I do have some other projects that are going to be happening sometime soon, maybe even cooking. Who knows? Um, give me the thumbs up and let me know in your comments what you think. Reporting from Gilbert, Arizona. Goodbye.